Learned that friends not only told the family that Shinquala Robinson had alcohol poisoning, but they also told that to police. Today, authorities told me that statement was a lie. No one told the same story, so I never believed them anyway. This is the tragic story of Shankwala Robinson, a 25 years old lady who was killed while on vacation with her so called friends. Shankwala was a young entrepreneur who was born January 1997 in North Carolina, USA. She was a popular kid, hair bread, and also owner of a clothing boutique store. Shankwala was from Charlotte, North Carolina. By all accounts, Shankwala was a hardworking, cheerful, ambitious, and caring lady. Shankwela life took a dark turn when she decided to go on a vacation with six of her friends to Cabo, Mexico to celebrate one of their birthday. Shankwela arrived with her friends in Mexico on the 28th of October 2022 after which they rented a villa. That night she arrived, Shankwela spoke to her mom, Salamondra, on the phone. A day after, which was on the 29th of October, Shankwela's best friend of over five years, Kaliku, called her mom to inform her that Shankwela had passed away from alcohol poisoning. Shankwela's parents couldn't believe what they were told because each of her friends were giving contradicting stories as to what had happened to their daughter. No one told the same story, so I never believed them anyway. Her friends later arrived at North Carolina, but this was without Shankwela. Her body was found dead in a hotel room in Mexico after her so-called friends left her there. Her parents informed the FBI about their daughter. An autopsy was conducted on Shankwela, which shows that she died as a result of a broken neck a cracked spine and a spinal cord injury. There was no result of alcohol poisoning. The news of her death later began to circulate online. Then, a video of how she was killed went viral. In this video, which was too violent to show, Shankwela, who was naked, was seen being beaten by one of her friend, Dejine, although she hasn't been identified by the authorities. The rest of her friend filmed the beating for unknown reasons. In the video, Shankwela fell to the ground and her friend continues to assault her. One of her friends could be heard telling Shankwela to fight back while the other stood to watch, including her so-called best friend. It was after the assault that Shankwela died. According to medical reports and experts, Shankwela's lip was splitted and there was bruises all over her body. After this video went viral, all of her six suspected friends deleted their social media account. Their names and photographs were also obtained. One was Dejine Jackson. The other Winter Dovernan, Alice Hortz, Kali Cook, and Maliki. Many took to their social media to express how they felt about her brutal death. They also sent their condolences and demanded that justice must be done. As of now, the genius punishment is unknown because detectives need to find more fact and proof. Although prosecutors said her death was a result of a direct attack. Shankwela's mom says she and her family are waiting for someone to be held accountable and arrested. Her death was ruled femicide. As of now, Dejine is placed in federal custody and they are waiting for her to begin an extradition process to Mexico where she will be formally accused of the femicide of 25 years old Shankwela Robinson. Shankwela's funeral was held on Saturday, November 19, 2022 at Macedonia's Baptist Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. A police officer investigating the case tells Queen City News if they find evidence that leads to an arrest, they have authority to bring the group back to Mexico and, quote, they will have to answer to Mexican law.